testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. Good music. I'm a Tesla guy. Such good music for this one. Nice. Who was the man in the white jacket you were covering in champagne? <laughs> he did he. <laughs> I thought I'd get him. He's always saying that he's all clean and all that, so I thought I'd spray him. What's it like taking a look at one of your most famous wins, condensed down to just a few seconds with that music on there? Well, the crazy thing is, you know, um, when I'm travelling and, and since I've been in Form 1, I swear I haven't watched a Grand Prix. I miss, you know, having egg and bacon on a Sunday morning watching the, watching the race and to watch that and to just just reminisce. It would always be my dream to win the Monaco Grand Prix. And after kind of, you know, you're, again, you have a, a mishap at the, at the beginning of the race, to come all the way through, do a sweet job, the team did a great job, and we won the Grand Prix. It's just the most satisfying. Ah, it felt, it felt amazing. Plus, you picked some good music. Thank Finally, you very much. Good. You didn't actually pick that, but... Uh, I did. It I was know, a personal choice yeah. of mine. Yeah, I know <laughs> it was. <laughs> you know that my taste in music isn't that good. I thought you would have gone for something like Status Quo or something. <laughs> you know, you've got me down as an old rocker, haven't you? <laughs> Why do some drivers drive well at Monaco, do you think? You're, you're one of these guys that people talk about as a, as a Monaco natural. It's difficult to put it into words, but you don't have to be as have as much guts to get close to grass. But you have to have serious heart and serious passion to get close to these barriers. There's just no run, there are no run of barriers. You go straight, you're going into a wall. The slightest error and you your race is over. But you say all that with a smile on your face. Because yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> I think all the petrol heads or the adrenaline junkies, this would have your heart racing, this track. When you leave the pits, pit lane, you speed up that hill up to the casino. You know, there's only 24 of us in the whole world that can come and drive this track. And there's only a few of us that can do it any good. And to have won here and to know that you can do it, is just is the coolest feeling. We spoke to Sterling Moss recently. There were some amazing shots of him driving around here in the late 50s, early 60s. Awesome. Short sleeve t-shirt. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, he was crazy. <laughs> I don't, people say we are crazy, but the, back then, geez, the guys, they knew nothing different. I heard someone said that he made a comment that he had time to look at, he could see the ladies' lipstick or something yes. like that. Yeah, he said if you saw ladies with nice bright pink lipstick, he'd give them away. Uh, <laughs> You're not telling me you don't look at the ladies along the front when you're going down there. I only look at one when she's here. That is the right answer. I know. Don't you have some favours though? Yeah. <laughs> you know, people comment that I have an aggressive driving style. I think rather than use the word aggress aggressive, it's just passion. It's just um, all heart. You know, I really dig to the deepest depths of my heart and I pull it out. I, I drive with my heart. And whether you want to interpret that as a aggression, I guess everyone has their own opinions. But um, I'm very, in terms of me in the car, I treat her like my queen, you know? Just try to be as smooth with her as I can be. I trust her. She look, takes care of me. When you climbed out of the car after your accident in Spain, it was, you looked so dejected as you sort of sat on the edge of the cockpit. What was going through your head at that point? I guess I felt gutted. I felt, uh, I just felt, what a shame. I felt positive, but kind of like, what a shame. That was an awesome race, so I really enjoyed that. You couldn't just wait until I got across the line. I was curious to see what had happened. The rim was rubbing on a certain part of the, of the car, and it just got hot and hotter and hotter, and it, it blew up. You watch it in slow-mo, something part of the wheel just flew off, and uh, the tyre deflated, and that was it. Do you want us to leave you to have a sleep now? Because you are so relaxed. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. <laughs> No, I've got to get to work. All right. So take it easy, all right? Cheers. Cheers. See you later, Lewis.